Hello, how are you doing? We're going to do something really quick here. We have our little program here. We're going to just change it. We're going to put it in line 7. This is a 4 next loop. 4i equals 1, 2, 100. And then in line 15, we're going to put in next i. Then we have to go up to line 10. And we need to take out the go to. And when we list, we will have this remarkable statement, quick little program. And now when I type in run, this will do exactly what I said it would do 100 times. Oh, what have I done? What do you mean, 15? Oh, I typed in, you gotta be careful. I typed in next I instead of next I. Okay, run. Now it's gonna do the World of Commodore thing 100 times. Then it's gonna stop. It's gonna be ready. If I wanna do it 10 times, I go up here. I change this to 10. I type run. Did it 10 times. If I want to do it 256 times, I change the 4i equals 1 to 256. And then I type run. That's a 4 next loop. 4i equals 1 to whatever number, however many times you want something to do something. <coughs> and then you put whatever you want to happen in between in the line. And then you put a next statement after, and it will do it. There it goes, 256 times. It's printing World of Commodore, World of Commodore, World of Commodore. Then it stops. These are beautiful, magical things that save you a whole lot of memory and a whole lot of time. They are. So that's a four next loop. For I equals one, two, 256. A print statement in between. After that, another thing that says next I, you're done. Shaboom. Bye.